we have all heard food is medicine so can changing your diet help you in endometriosis hello everyone i'm dr anjali kumar i'm a gynecologist and obstetrician i'm an advanced laparoscopic surgeon i bring greetings to you from maitri maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health so let's continue our discussion on endometriosis from the last video i hope you watched our last detailed video on the endometriosis so when you have endometriosis the cells which are very similar to the cells from your endometrium which is the lining inside the uterus they grow on the other parts of your reproductive system or in the lower abdomen also these cells may be stuck to your bladder your fallopian tubes the ovaries or the surrounding organs now these cells and these cells shed and bleed during your periods like the lining of your uterus but this blood has nowhere to go it gets trapped inside causing pain inflammation scarring and adhesions which means now the tissues also get stuck to each other now this leads to endometriosis symptoms like painful heavy periods chronic pain in the lower abdomen back pain painful intercourse fatigue digestive problems and in some cases infertility also the cause of endometriosis is unknown and there is currently no permanent cure endometriosis is an estrogen dependent inflammatory disease so technically a non inflammatory and a low estrogen diet could help in this condition so let's understand what are the things which you can do to help you in your endometriosis condition increase your intake of omega 3 fats now omega 3 fats are anti inflammatory fats that are found in many fatty fish and many other animal and plant sources on the other hand omega 6 fats they promote pain and inflammation So given that the endometriosis is often associated with increased pain and inflammation having a diet with a high ratio of omega 3 to omega 6 fats in your diet may be very beneficial Many studies have shown that taking omega 3 fats can not only reduce the pain but can also help in the regression of the disease So what are the sources of omega 3 fatty acids fish and other seafood especially cold water fatty fish such as salmon mackerel tuna herring and sardines nuts and seeds such as flax seeds hemp seeds chia seeds edamame kidney beans and walnuts plant oils such as flax seed oil soya bean oil and canola oil seaweed and algae are also good sources of omega 3 fatty acids cut down on red meat red meat especially the processed meat has been linked to higher risk of endometriosis red meat is inflammatory and it increases the estrogen levels in the body making the symptoms of endometriosis worse since endometriosis is an estrogen dependent disease higher levels of estrogen in the blood will increase the risk and severity of this condition eat plenty of fruits vegetables and whole grains so the fruits veggies and whole grains contain vitamins minerals and lots of fiber a high fiber intake can lower estrogen levels which could help managing endometriosis they are also rich in antioxidants they are alkaline in nature most of the scientific studies say that taking an alkaline diet plant based diet rich in antioxidants can help limit alcohol and caffeine so we do not have clear scientific recommendations as to how this works but many people report going alcohol and caffeine free helps in their symptoms avoid diets high in trans fats so trans fats are inflammatory and can increase the endometriosis pain and symptoms 
so avoid fried processed and fast foods bakery products now they may look very simple and humble biscuits fan rusk cakes fried foods patura puri pakora bhujia fried savory mixtures namkeens reheated oil now small amounts of trans fats are found when the same cooking oil is used for repeated frying it is not only at the commercial outlets but even at household levels try a gluten free diet so we all know what is gluten gluten is a protein which is naturally found in some grains like wheat barley and rye it acts like a binder it holds the food together and gives that stretchy feel to the dough a gluten rich diet can cause an increased inflammatory response leading to worsen endometriotic symptoms so breads pasta cereals beer soup certain gravies indian foods like parathas pav bhaji kachori dal bhati churma puris are all gluten rich see if avoiding this helps you according to many studies following a gluten free diet experienced significant reductions in pelvic pain in endometriosis try a low fod map diet now what are fod maps it is a term or an acronym which stands for fermentable oligo dye and monosaccharides and polyols the fod map free diet was designed to relieve intestinal symptoms in people with ibs irritable bowel syndrome so the gut bacteria ferment these fod maps resulting in the production of gas which can cause pain and dis- and discomfort in those people with ibs so a low fod map diet may also be beneficial for people with endometriosis so what are the examples of fod maps dairy based milk yogurt ice cream wheat based products such as cereals breads crackers certain beans and lentils some vegetables like artichokes asparagus onions garlic these are all examples of fod maps try these supplements so in addition to eating a healthy diet few supplements may be also beneficial results have showed a reduction in chronic pelvic pain decrease oxidative stress and decrease in inflammation vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e zinc they all help curcumin now this is the anti inflammatory component of the well known our own indian spice turmeric haldi so one scientific study found that curcumin inhibited the endometrial cells by reducing the estrogen production does exercise helps in endometriosis yes very much exercise can reduce estrogen levels and release feel good hormones so follow any exercise regime which makes you feel happy alternative treatments may also be very helpful for women with endometriosis for example relaxation techniques can be beneficial meditation pranayams yoga acupuncture massage anything which helps you with your pain endometriosis is a complex problem requiring multiple treatment approaches in addition to the medical treatments following a healthy diet and a good exercise regime can be very beneficial but be careful following some restrictive diets like gluten and fodmap free diet can put you at the risk of nutritional deficiencies so consult a dietitian to plan your diets keep a food journal and pay attention to how your body reacts when you eat certain foods do not ever leave your medical treatment and follow your doctor's advice always so today like always if you found this information useful do not forget to share and subscribe and like mathri and i will see you soon